Hey guys, Ryu here with Not Avid for Blender. This one's gonna be a critique of a decal pack by Sijigami on Gamroad. Now the pack is quite unusual because it's mixed. It contains a, a geo decals mixed with info decals, and uh, um, so you know it's, it's kind of unique. I haven't seen anything like it yet. Just very quickly before we start, guys, we have Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh. Three tiers, awesome perks, lots of tutorials, decals, critiques, all that jazz. Check the link in the video description and hope to see you there, thanks. Uh, so that's interesting. Now let's talk about shading. Shading is really good. It's very clean and very well controlled parallax as well. So I really like that. Uh, you know, it's not just thrown there and lazily. Someone actually came in and looked at every decal and inspected it. So that's pretty cool. The design is really simple. Nothing, you know, nothing complicated, but some of them are actually really complex. Um, um, and you know more work went into them so uh, that's cool the info decals are really uh, really nice some of them i definitely will be using you know like this one for example but you know let's let's talk about the uh, let's talk about the design so some of these decals i'm not sure if i'll be using for example this and this um you know i don't know what i would do with these two but you know this could be an interesting one for some kind of an engine inside or something um, you know, that's just a simple vent, but could be used uh, for sure. This one could be a rate. Um, you know, these two for sure I'll be using. This one is kind of interesting too. You know, um, on off maybe. Um, then th this one, I'm not sure about design like this. You know, I I'm not really. Um, th this detail is a bit maybe too noisy for me, too loud. Um, so not sure about that one. This one is really cool. This could be a cool, like a, you know, tiny calm detail somewhere. Looks complicated, but in fact, it's really simple. Um, this is pretty cool, though. Uh, what I don't like about it is that you have you, you can see that um, this inner plate was cut, um, or, or actually is laying um, in between uh, this geo, right? So kind of like goes through it. And if um, you know, if I was doing it, probably what I would do, I would cut out this circle inside. And close all these um, all these holes. Okay, so I'll probably remove this because it kind of looks weird. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. I would just you know close them off and make it nice, clean, rich, or edge around it, and uh, you know, and then the 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 holes in the inside. That's cool. Uh, so that's my only beef with it, but um, it's a pretty cool design actually. This one is all right too. Now this one is really cool, but I got one problem with it. Is this just too many lights? What I would do probably is like maybe leave two on the bottom, um, and that's it. It's just too much going on. Yeah, um, it's a really clean, nice design, but I just think personally, there's just way too much going on here. Um, so maybe I'll just leave two or maybe four in corners. You know, something, something. I'll change something in here. But the idea is, is actually pretty cool. This one is alright, but it's a bit too symmetrical, so maybe I would, you know, make these two at the end the same. So maybe, let's say, you know, one is, uh, three are switched, or one is switched, and the other ones are not. If you flipped all these switches in the same direction, uh, you know, with these bits here on the top, it would probably look a bit more consistent. And then you could uh, simply, um, you know, uh, drop down one of uh, one of these plates so when they're broken in half simply you know drop it down and then you have the uh, you know identical buttons but uh, one of them would be turned on and three of them would be turned off if you know what i mean so uh, this is basically setup of identical buttons two of them are simply flipped so just too symmetrical for me this could be a bit more interesting in my opinion um, and the rest is info. So the info really cool. Um, the damaged ones are really awesome. Um, the, you know, the, I see myself using this for sure, hundred um, percent. These are all, you know, all interesting analogs, etc. I have no idea what these are for, but uh, but there you go. Um, the this one on its own would be interesting. You know, data signature is kind of like a bar on the bottom. Um, this is pretty cool. Limited access. I could probably do without this. Um, but you know, it doesn't bother me really. These are cool. Um, for sure I'll be using these the same as this one stop They're really cool and they got numbers now if I was designing this probably what I would do is I would separate the pack um, You know the the decal pack from the geo decals from the info decals and create two separate packs 
um, you know, you got a theme going on here on this info decal park. So it's, you know, you could just continue with this and um, create some kind of, a, you know, unique decal park in, in, in this kind of a, uh, with this vibe, right? And then you go to a separate park for geo because, you know, when I apply geo, I'm going to apply geo. I don't want to look for which one is info, which one is geo. I mean, you can easily probably, you know, spot it, but um, I don't know. I'm not kind of sure about mixing them, you know. Like you have info mixed with geo it's a bit of a mess in a pack to be honest and um another thing that i like about it is that um even though some of these emission decals are pretty strong maybe too strong uh, but not all of them are emissive which is you know which is nice uh, so they're not all kind of crazy shiny in your face the pack is quite cheap it's only four bucks it's not too bad um and the only thing i i, I want to mention is that you know when you say because the pack says there are uh, 51 decals that might be true but you know there's a lot of pairs i know that you know one of them is damaged one of them isn't but technically it's the same decal so it, it's a bit pushing it in my opinion but you know well not too many actually are duplicated just the info ones um so it's not too bad and you got all the numbers which could be useful actually for you know uh, adding some numbers to i don't know um base item bots boxes whatnot so you know pretty cool so all in all guys it's you know it's not a bad pack it's actually pretty cool it's very clean and that's quite important so if you put it on uh on your you know on your uh, models it's gonna look like geo and uh this is one of the first packs when i when i've seen a controlled parallax and uh, when there are no distortions but actually you can see depth so this is actually really nice so i can see that you know cg was adjusting parallax before he dropped it um into the pack which is great and this is how it should be done uh, every single decal when i you know when i before i drop it i always adjust parallax to make sure that the parallax is you know perfect there are no pulls and stretches so we got a little bit of a pull in here but this is on the on the edge uh, on the vertical edge so it's not too bad if you actually taper this a little bit so if you because you got a taper going here on sides right so left and right here but if you taper this a little bit um you would not have these pulls okay these pulls are caused by basically dead on vertical edges so when the camera you know that depends on the edge that's where you get the pulls because this top edge is going to get repeated in here so it's just a, you know that's how it gets baked so that's where you get the pulls on sides here right so in the future, what you want to do is just taper it a little bit out and you're going to be all right. Anyway, guys, that's that's it for the um, for the vid. If you want to grab the grab the pack, um, you know, go to Gumroad. There's a link in the video description. So if you want to grab it, um, there's a link. Um, that's it for the for this one. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.